The suicide rate among police officers in France has hit an all-time high. This year alone, more than 40 law enforcement professionals took their own lives. Increasingly poor working conditions and stress related to terror threats have been pointed to as potential triggers. RT's Charlotte Dubensky spoke to an officer who's made not one, but two attempts on her own life. I was considered a troublemaker. I also had problems in my private life and with my children. I felt abandoned. You spend your entire life to build your personal and professional life, and one day you say to yourself, everything would be better without me. Aurélie, not her real name, is an officer with more than two decades of experience. Having joined the police at 19, she was very motivated and excited about the job. But years later, the pressure of her work drove her to two suicide attempts, the latest just seven months ago. Our administration is taking decisions and the people's anger is turning against us. We are suffering from the image our government created for us. Today, many people are calling for policemen to be killed. The most important mission of the French police today is preventing terror attacks. Yet the officers themselves have become the primary targets of jihadists. How much of uh, an impact has the threat of terrorism had on the police? We suffered enormously physically and psychologically from the terror attacks. We worked extremely hard, but that was our duty. What was really bad is that we were not given the tools to fight with terrorism. Some policemen received new weapons, some received training, but not all of us. The measures that they have introduced were minuscule. Aurélie tells me the suicides amongst police should by no means be interpreted as isolated cases. They always say that these are personal issues. We must stop saying that. Policemen are hurt, traumatized by their work. They decide to commit suicide more easily than the others. Why? Not because they have weapons on them. How many of them hang themselves, throw themselves under trains, take pills? My female colleague, 49 years old, killed herself last week with a hunting rifle. Aurélie is one of the lucky ones. Dozens of others have succumbed to the extreme pressures they face. She says there was only one reason why she pulled through, and that was her children. I realized that my child will come home that day, and it saved my life. But the lack of humanity in police nowadays leads to the situation when many of my colleagues prefer to die instead of fighting. Charlotte Dubinsky, RT, Thionville, France.